Hello, welcome to the nursery. This is the Foglets class and this is a presentation for you to have an idea of what goes on in our classroom and around the school. My name is Sophie Tate and I'm the Froglets, Froglets class teacher and the nursery officers working the class are Chinchu, Fittore and Stefania. The additional adults are other adults working around the school that may not necessarily be in the classroom um, this, when, when they're in the froglets, but they may pop, pop in now and again, it's just so that you know, know their names. Um, the school day, important information, the school day, school starts at 9 o'clock for the froglets, and we have lunch at 11.40. They have a lunch break and then they come back into the classroom, and the end of the day is at 3 o'clock. We'll open the doors um, to let the children go, and it's a time that um, we can communicate with you. We will be there at the end of the day if there's something you'd like to talk to us about. If you haven't done already, if you could please fill in the form at the office to say who can collect your child at the end of the day. And if there are any changes, speak, speak to one of us um, just to let us know. While the weather's warm, we'll be waiting outside in the outside area for you to collect your your child from the froglets exit gate and if it's raining we will um, let them go from the classroom. Um, you can stand under the shelter but just please remember to follow social distancing guidelines. Attendance and punctuality. Now this is really really important. There's a pyramid here that shows the effects of what happens when your child gets to school on time compared to just 15 minutes difference what they miss out on if, if they do come late. So attendance and punctuality are really important and ensure that your child reaches their full potential. If they're not at school, they're missing key learning opportunities. So if your child is sick, please try and call the school before 9am on the morning of the first day of absence and hit there's the phone number and keep keep the school informed um, you know, for each day that they're, they're still going to be absent. Um, we, we like to achieve over 96% attendance each week and this is monitored weekly and the classes that, that get the best attendance um, get noted in the newsletter. Primrose promises. These are like a set of, of um, promises that the children make um, to ensure that you know, they respect each other and, you know, look out for each other, using growth mindsets, including others, being respectful to everybody, being gentle with others, and also looking after our environment and making sure we look after the things at school. Behaviour expectations. For nursery and froglets, we are focusing on hand being a hand-washing hero at the moment, making sure that whenever um, we go to the toilet, wash our hands, we're sanitising on the way in, sanitising on the way out and we're making sure that we wash hands before we eat and making sure that we clean the resources um, at the end of each day and the children are helping to do that. Um, inclusion and medical needs, we have, um, there's whole, whole class teaching and then if there's if there's anything that's spotted in the whole class teaching, then if a child if they're spotted that some, something it, they're having difficulty with, they go onto the class monitor, um, and then if there's any action that needs taken, they go into class action, and if that fo anything that follows on from that, um, they get the um, special educational needs support, and that's where. And that is where there might be specific interventions and targets for your child. There might be um, an outside agency support for your child and additional adult support in the school. And CIRA is the person that's um, in charge of inclusion and medical needs in the school. The early years foundation stage is the curriculum that we follow in nursery. There are four guiding principles in the early years foundation stage. 
These are every child is a unique child who is constantly learning and can be resilient, capable, confident and self-assured. Children, children learn to be strong and independent through positive relationships. Children learn and develop well in enabling environments in which their experiences respond to their individual needs and there is a strong partnership between practitioners and parents and carers. Children develop and learn in different ways and at different rates. The framework covers the education and care of all children in early years provision, including children with special educational needs and disabilities. So here's the framework, and there are seven areas of learning. We've got the prime areas here in orange, and then we've got within that we've got the specific areas, literacy, maths, understanding the world, expressive arts and designs, and then we've got the aspects on the right-hand column. And we will be supporting the children's learning and development, following their interests and using high quality texts to engage them in their learning. Assessment for learning. The assessment that we do um, is ongoing. So we've got our, our flow chart here. So we've got the adult will work with and observe the children. We see what they can do. We think about what, ne the, what the, um, the child's needs are for, for next steps and then we'll plan another activity and the cycle goes on. Alert works with and observes the children and on it goes. Then um, how we assess them and monitoring their progress. Each child has their own special profile book and there's also an online program that will be sharing information. There'll be more information on this to follow and we'll explain how to log in and how to use that. We have monitoring and pupil progress reviews in, um, in school with the senior leadership team and there's also parent consultations and reports at the end of the year. So when your child is in nursery we encourage them to be motivated, independent, confident and happy children. They will work with an adult, they'll be learning inside, they'll be encouraged to work independently lots of learning outside and working and playing cooperatively with their friends. Home learning, we will give you some ideas for activities you can do at home with your child and these will be linked to our key book or theme. These will cover the seven, all the seven areas of the early years foundation stage and we'll go at the start of each term. And please share your child's home learning or family outings, achievements and moments through the online app that we'll, that we'll be telling you about and you can send us photos or videos. Reading in school and at home. Um, in school your child will have opportunities to read books and have books read to them every day and we encourage you to do the same at home. Every Tuesday will be our class library day when your child will select a book from our selection to take home for the week and please bring this book back every Tuesday so that your child can exchange it for another one. Um, you'll need to buy a Primrose Hill school bag and you can buy that from the office. Um, your, your child won't be able to take books home unless they've got their book bag on a Tuesday. We'll also be sending you a login for a website called Reading Eggs and you'll be able to read with them at home using that. How can you help at home? Um, the things that you do with them at home are really, really important, so please continue to support your child at home, sharing books and stories every night, playing letter sound games, I spy with my little eye, sing songs, nursery rhymes, it's all really important, and encourage them to, to mark make and do drawings, um, look for numbers and shapes, counting, playing games, making them um, jump around and hide and seek, what's the time Mr Wolf? Be active um, and remember that gross and fine motor skills, so really big movements and the small movements they make with their hands are really important to support young children's writing and their pencil grip. Um, have fun playing, play doh and Lego and threading, they're really, really, really good things to do to help strengthen all their muscles. Playing in the park, any climbing opportunities are all really good for that. Um, really important information is to make sure that there is a sp spare set of clothes on their peg. Um, if they could be named, that would be even better. Um, 
independence. We encourage them to be independent. So if they're wearing clo clothing that they can unfasten and refasten themselves, that's really, really useful and helpful to them. Book bags, as I just mentioned, they'll bring one home book each week of their choice. And please buy a book bag from the office. Communication, um, there will be a member of staff available um, at the beginning and end of each day um, for to talk to and to let us know any changes or, um, and vice versa, anything that's happened during the day, we'll let you know. For cooking, um, we make lots of Play-Doh and sometimes we'll be buying ingredients um, to make things in class. So we ask for a voluntary contribution of 50p a week for that. Water bottles, it's really important that they have their own water bottle with fresh water in it every day. And fruit, we do provide um, one piece of fruit each day. Sometimes if the children um, only like a particular fruit, then you're very welcome to bring in one piece of fruit each week um, to share with the class so they've got a variety of fruit to choose from. Um, any questions? So please remember to refer to the school's website. There's lots of information on there that you might find the answer to your questions. There are letters home and presentations. Um, there are dates on the calendar. Letters home are always put on the website. Presentations are always... Um, on the website, information about clubs are there and policies and procedures are all on the website. So have a look there um, if there are any questions that you need answers to. Um, I hope that's been helpful and we look forward to having your children in our class this year. Thank you.